Every time someone uses Google, they type some word or phrase into a search bar. That word or phrase is a keyword, also known as a search term. Now, if you run a business, you want your website to come up in search, but ranking for keywords takes work. And there are dozens, maybe hundreds, or even thousands of keywords that you might want to try and rank for. So understanding how to choose the right SEO keywords is the core of any SEO strategy. But how do you do that exactly? In this video, we're going to show you just that. Hey there guys, I'm Kellis Landrum. I'm a co-founder here at True North Social. We are a digital marketing agency in Los Angeles, California, and we are here to help you learn how to market your business online. Welcome to part three of our series on choosing the right SEO keywords. In our first video, we talked about what keywords are and how they work. If you're still a little bit unsure about this, you can check out the link right up here, or we'll keep it down in the description below if you wanna reference it later. In our last video, we took a deep dive into several methods to create a great big list of potential keyword candidates. If you're interested in that, once again, we're gonna put that right up here or you can check it out later in the description below. But in this video, we're gonna talk about how to take a look at that list of potential keywords and evaluate them. If you've come up with a list on your own and you have a great big list and you're not sure what the best ones are, we're gonna go through how to pick the best ones based on how easy they'll be to rank for, how relevant they are to your site, and how likely they are to produce a lead or a sale. So let's jump right in. Okay, so if you guys remember from our last video, we looked at avantruder.com and found a big list of keywords. As we look at the volume of what we have here, the biggest one is 5,400 emergency plumbing and the smallest one is 10. Now, this is something to consider when you're looking at what keywords you wanna go after. You wanna see, you wanna think about what does my site rank for on the first page of a Google search currently? So let's take a look at what this one ranks for, just so we can get an idea. I'm using SEMrush here to do a little bit of uh, analysis on the site. You can use whatever tool you like. This is the tool we use most often. Um, so what we're doing here is we're doing a uh, quick scan of this site and this will tell us organic search positions for this website and I'm just gonna sort them so I can see what it ranks for from number one, two, three, all the way down. But really what I'm looking for at the moment is what it ranks for on the first page. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 keywords on the first page. And the volume is important here. So the biggest keyword that Google is putting on the first page for the site is uh, 140 search volume, which is not much. This is pretty low. Uh, generally, I kind of bracket things from one to 100, from 100 to 250, from 250 to 500, from 500 to 1,000, and then 1,000 on up. So anything below 100 is not very competitive. Um, it's not very difficult to rank for at all. And we'll see what we're ranking for. Number one here is the brand name, Avant Router. They should rank for this, <laughs> right? They should rank number one. And definitely you wanna rank for whatever your brand keywords are. You wanna try and get that ahead of Yelp or Google My Business or you know any other kind of referral type site. I think Google is the, or uh, I'm sorry, Yelp is the most common one. But you definitely want to get these. So if you don't rank for your brand name, you, you wanna get that one on your list first and foremost. But most sites can rank for their brand name without doing a whole lot of work. Assuming their brand name is not something that's super, super generic, but Avant Ruger is, I guess, uh, you know, specific enough that they can rank for the site pretty easily. When we look at this site, uh, it doesn't look like, I'm assuming that they haven't done a lot of SEO because they have just 10 keywords that are coming up on the first page. But when we look at how it's built, it is essentially built pretty well for SEO. Uh, their services are on separate pages. They have areas we service page, which helps them rank uh, for any of these local areas. And because they have pages that are specific to local areas, let's take a look at Los Angeles, Los Angeles Plumbing Services. They aren't hitting the first page for something like Los Angeles Plumbing Services just yet, but on the second page we see 
Plumbing Culver City, Plumbing East Los, Plumber East Los Angeles, Plumber Palisades. And when we look at this, these city listings on the site, we see Los Angeles and East Los Angeles are pretty similar. We've got Palisades in here. We've got Culver City, Venice, a couple of different neighborhoods around Los Angeles that they serve. And we see that these are coming up in, on the second page. Uh, so when we look at what's coming up on the first page, the volume is between mostly under 100. We've got one breaking onto 140. And then on the second page here from 11 to 20, we've got one that hits 260. This one hits 590. This one hits 480, 390. So mid 500s, something like that. Doesn't look, do we have anything over a thousand here on the second page? Doesn't look like we have anything under a thousand. So it's mostly stuff under a hundred and a few things between 100 and 500, even though this breaks in 590, it's not getting much over 500. So when we look at what we wanna target here, all of this stuff that's over a thousand, probably not gonna rank for that right away. Not, not anytime soon. I, I tend to think of this as eventually, right? But if we wanna rank for this stuff in the thousands, we gotta rank for stuff between 1,000 and 500 first. And if we wanna rank for stuff between 1,000 and 500, we need to really solidly be ranking for things between 250 and 500, which we're not doing yet. Um, before we hit that, we need to really solidly rank for things between 100 and 250, which looking at this, we've only got one on the first page above 100. So really where we need to start for this site is probably getting a bunch more stuff between uh, between zero and 100, and then a few things between 100 and 250, maybe as a long, as, as a little bit of a longer term goal, we can shoot for some of the higher end things between 250 and 500. Maybe even, you know, this, this one on, uh, East plumbers in East Los Angeles, this is 590. Uh, that that might that might be a good candidate, right? So generally I'm looking for some of the lower volume stuff here. So this is how I like to do it. I like to go in rounds. And in fact, I've already done this as my homework just so you guys don't have to watch me go through this <laughs> and add stuff. So round one, I'm gonna try and cut this list in half and I actually did a little bit more than half. So my first round of keywords, I cut down from 100 to, from 101 to 40. So what am I really looking at here? Well, I'm looking at a range of stuff. I did put some real big ones in here, like, uh, you know, plumbers in East Los Angeles, cause again, I can see that this does rank on the second page. I would say this is my biggest aspirational keyword here, along with uh, Hawthorne Plumbing is at 390, Malibu Plumbing 170, Venice Plumbing 140, right? These are, what did I get at 140 here on the first page? Venice Plumbing, right? So basically if I wanted to work on this one, I would be working to get this from position, whatever it is, nine or 10, down to position, eight, down to position seven, down to position six, down into five, four, three, two, and hopefully eventually up to number one. And then these other things, as we get further down in the, in the volume column here, as we get down to 20, right? 20 searches a month is not going to do us a whole lot of good, even if we were to get all of them. That's not a lot of people coming to our site, but it will help us with trust. When Google looks at what to list on a page, really what it's looking at is how much do I trust these sites? And as it trusts them more, as people click on them more and spend more time on the site, a lot of other factors, Google pushes it up. And the way Google trusts a site is the way kind of anybody trusts anything. You trust it a little bit at a time. So if Google trusts you enough to put 10 things on the first page of search rankings for your site, they trust it a little bit. 
Now, if you can get it to trust them for 15 or 20 different things, that represents a little bit more trust. And what generally tends to happen is, I mean, this, right? This is what you're looking at. Low volume stuff goes first. And then as it trusts your site for a lot of low volume stuff, it will trust it for higher and higher volume stuff. So, so getting nine things on the first page of a Google site that are under 100 and then one that is over 100, I'd say that's pretty typical of what we're looking at here. So when you're looking at what to target, you do want to target some higher end stuff just so you can see when you're when you're hitting that point and and watch them in rankings as they go up. But generally you're going to target lower stuff to move up to the first to the first page of a Google search primarily. And then as they do, you're going to see that higher volume stuff follow along with it. So that's generally what I like to look at um, when I'm targeting what keywords. So this is a big list of 40. I want to cut that down a little bit. So let's see in round two. Now we're down to 17. I've still got some of my high end uh, search volume keywords here, mostly because there's not a whole lot of them. But here we're down to 17. We've cut out basically what we cut out is um, a lot of single term areas. So let me let me switch back here for a second to round one. There's a lot of random local areas in here like Hollywood. And let's see, what else do I have? Temple City, San Marino. On the other hand, there's a lot of keywords that have uh, multiple phrases like West Los Angeles. And I know East Los Angeles was, here's East Los Angeles. I'm sure there's Los Angeles. Let's, let's just do a filter reel here and see Los Angeles. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these keywords um, hit the second round or, or have Los Angeles in them. So I'm picking a few on the little bit higher volume side to work on here and cutting out some of this stuff that's just random cities like Hollywood or maybe Long Beach, something like that. So when we get into round two, we're starting to see some of this stuff. Hawthorne is a little bit higher volume. Maybe we want to look at Ruder specials. Maybe not. Um, we're just kind of trying to get this down a little bit. I happen to know because I'm very familiar with Culver City where our office is located <laughs> that 90066 is uh, and a zip code for Culver City. Um, and there's a few of these Culver City terms that seem to be ranking along with Venice, which is right next to it. So let's see when we get down to round round three, let's talk about that. So we get from a larger group to progressively smaller groups. Personally, I don't necessarily like to do that all at once. I like to narrow it down. Now for uh, a campaign that has a little bit higher spend that can target a few more things, I might stop at round two. But in this case, because these guys are small, if I was doing it for this company, they only have 10 things on the first page. I'm gonna assume they don't have a ton of money to spend on SEO. They're maybe a smaller tier client. Um, so I'm narrowing this down a little bit. For a small campaign, I would like to keep it around 10 keywords. So this is nine. Uh, so we've got our aspirational keywords up here as uh, plumbers in East Los Angeles. I like to keep that one because we're ranking for a few other uh, Los Angeles terms like East Los Angeles here, plumbers in Los Angeles. And we know that we have a Los Angeles plumbing services page on this site. So we've got the content in place. We've got that part of it done. There may be some things we can do to improve the content on that page a little bit, and we might try some of those, but What's important here is our keywords are targeting a few specific pages that are on the site, like East Los Angeles, plumbers in East Los Angeles, California, plumbers in East Los Angeles, plumbers in Los Angeles, California. All three of these terms are going to be targeted at this page. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this page. I'm gonna make sure that this page includes these words in a couple of different places and uh, beefs up the content side of that. And then I'm probably gonna try and build links for each of these terms to that page. And what will happen is as the content of that page improves, as we start building a few links for a few of these terms with something like plumbers or plumbing in Los Angeles, uh, all of these terms will go up together, plus a few of these things in round one that I may not even specifically be targeting, they might go up along with it. So we might get sort of an extra little bonus. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. SEO is a pretty deep topic and there is a lot to discuss with keywords, but we made it all the way through. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And of course, reach out to us anytime at truenorthsocial.com. Once again, my name is Kellis Landrum. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.